Prepping for chest day. We're gonna go through a nice routine here to make sure that we activate, mobilize, and fully prepare our joint and our muscle before we start pushing. Um, you could, in fact, use this routine if you're gonna be overhead pushing as well. And let's be honest, a lot of the time when we come in and we're gonna bench press or dumbbell press or, or even fly, a lot of the time we'll just come in, we'll go through a few dynamic stretches, maybe do some push-ups, and then we're off. But we can be a lot more effective with, with how we prepare for this. So the first thing we're gonna look at is we're gonna use a foam roller on top of the plate. Uh, we're gonna get some soft tissue work in there. Um, the most important part of this is to try and hydrate our tissue to make sure it's fully functioning when we put it under load. Then we're gonna look at some dynamic chest stretches. Now, we'll have different versions of this. Again, maybe on the plate, we're gonna be trying to mobilize our joint uh, to try and fully lengthen the muscle again before we go in and put it under load. Then we're gonna look at some dynamic prone stretches. So we're gonna focus a little bit on stability. Um, one of the key areas we tend to miss when we're barbell bench pressing, because we are um, bilateral, we want to really try and activate the shoulder and get those stabilizers working a little bit harder as well. Um, and then we're going to finally finish off with a bit of practice for what's about to occur. So we're going to do some multi-directional push-ups again on top of the plate to increase a bit of vibration. So we're going to foam roll our packs. Uh, foam roller. It's important to find a position that's really comfortable for you, so it doesn't have to be here, it doesn't have to be here. I'm going to play around with it, whatever feels right for you. So I'm going to, I've got everything set up there. I'm going to just adjust it, start, get into a nice position. So I'd quite like to have my arm bent here, but again, you could go straight, whatever works. I'm going to go on the angle. I'm just going to get into my pack. And any sort of areas that feel a little bit tight today, spend a little bit more time there. So I was going sideways there, so I can also go forwards as well. Again, if it doesn't feel comfortable, just change the angle. And then quite a nice way to finish off is with a bit of rotation. So we can use our head to drive rotation. Here. Really get a nice pull through the back. So that's 45 seconds. Uh, we recommend somewhere between 30 and 60 seconds, depending on how much time you've got. Uh, that was all on my right side, so now I just turn around and do exactly the same on the left. So we're into our dynamic chest stretch now. Uh, obviously, using the plate, it's going to vary away from a more traditional one where we might use a suspension trainer or even the side of a rack, but it's going to be a very, very similar movement. So, arms going to come down onto the plate, and I'm going to work through three planes of movement so forwards, backwards sideways my frontal plane and then a bit of rotation using my head into the transverse plane. Just again finding a comfortable position for you where you can really feel the stretch. Just have your arm bent like so, just driving forwards and backwards, really feeling that pull as I go forwards and then just easing off. Or I could go my arm straight. Again whatever feels right for you. So looking for roughly about 15 seconds in that position, and then same position. And all we're going to do is use the pelvis to drive left and right. And then from there we're just going to finish off with a bit of rotation using the head as our driver. So as I pull away, you can really feel that stretch through the pack. That's 45 seconds, good 15 second piece on each movement and I can really feel the difference in this side now just from 45 seconds there. So I'll move on to the left side now. Moving into our third warm up exercise now for the chest, uh, we're going to get a little bit of mobility done through our shoulders. So I'm going to go into a prone position, it starts to resemble a push up. But what we want to make sure we do is just drop into our athletic position so that we ease a little bit of the vibration that our head's going to feel. So dropping into this position, uh, again, starts to resemble a push-up. So we're really starting to activate everything a lot more now. So we come up into this position and all I'm going to do is use my pelvis to drive forwards backwards as it's 
for warm up. It's really important to just stay through a safe range of movement. Not trying to hit any personal best in the warm up. And now we're just going to drive left and right. You can really feel that left side starting to fire a bit more than the right. All the way up into my shoulders. And then we finish off with rotation. So again, just using the hips to drive the movement. I can really feel that weight shifting from left to right. So not only do we get great activation through our pecs, but we also start to get into our upper thoracic as well, which is a really important part of your upper body to mobilise before a pushing session. So moving on, we're going to start to challenge stability, often overlooked when we look at pushing, pulling, well, most of our movements really. So in our warm-up, it's a great opportunity to go single arm and really activate this joint, the shoulder, which is gonna drive most of our movement today. So, into this prone position again, very similar to our last exercise. We're gonna work through three planes of movement. Again, starting off in the sagittal plane. Gonna go for 10 reps on each side. So, nice athletic position, knees bent again, and just driving movement with my opposite arm. You can really feel the shoulder and the wrist starting to fire. And then from here, gonna go into frontal plane. So reaching across, around towards the ankle. Quite challenging movement, not something that we're used to in our regular gym sessions, and then finish with rotation. Again, trying to find us a comfortable range of movement. Something that is really important in our warm-up is that we don't stress the body too much. So finding something that feels right on, on to this day today. I might be stressed, I might be fatigued from different workouts. So just trying to stay in a safe range of movement through those new exercises. So the fifth and final part of our warm-up is going to be movement integration. So something to really, really prepare us for what's about to occur post-warm-up. We're going to do what we call a push-up matrix. So we're going to do push-ups in seven different hand positions, looking to fully activate the joint. We're only going to work through the initial part of the movement, so we're not going to be going full range at all. So I'm going to talk you through all seven hand positions. So the first one is our sort of our more traditional push-up position. We're going to refer to this as neutral. So we're just going to come through that initial part of the movement. From here, we're going to stagger our hands. Just going to take one hand in front. Again, two reps just through there. And I'm going to do exactly the same on the other side. It's funny how that slight change just makes a big difference how my shoulder feels. Now we're going to go really wide, as wide as we can go in the plate. Might just change the angle here so we're going to a little bit wider. And then we're going to come quite narrow. So you don't have to go thumbs touching or that traditional diamond push up. We just want to be a little bit closer together than we would be in our neutral position. And then the final one, a really, really important position for the shoulders, our, our rotational position. So we've got internal rotation and then external rotation as well. Really important for shoulder health. So that's the seven. We're going to go through them now. I'm going to bang all seven out with a bit of vibration. So you want to keep an athletic position through the knees, just lowering down, make sure I don't get too low to stay in that initial position. Take it nice and wide. And then narrow. And then finishing off with a bit of rotation. towards the end. Well, that was about 35 seconds just being in a plank position effectively with different hand movements and 
starts and gets into that push up position. So it's quite challenging. Um, make sure you choose a safe range of movement. Again, as we've, as we've discussed throughout the entire warm up, it is a warm up. We shouldn't be trying to do any personal bests. We're just trying to prep the body for what is about to occur.